What's happening guys? My name's Nicholas Renat and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at OCR. Let's take a deeper look as to what we're going to be going through. So in this video, we're going to be covering everything you need to get started with optical character recognition, also known as OCR. So first up, we're going to start out by setting up Easy OCR. So this is a Python package that makes it super easy to actually go and perform OCR. Then what we're actually going to do is we're going to use the Easy OCR package to extract text from a bunch of different images. And then we're going to be able to visualize those results using OpenCV. So you will actually be able to see the extracted text overlaid on top of the image. Now let's take a look as to how this is all going to fit together. So in order to perform our OCR, we're going to be using the Easy OCR library. And Easy OCR is powered by PyTorch. So it's a deep learning library similar to TensorFlow. So we're going to be making our detections inside of a Jupyter notebook. And this is obviously going to be coded using Python. And then when we come to visualize our results, we're going to be using OpenCV to go and overlay our text, similar to what you can see on the slide on the screen right now. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty, so in this video, we're going to be covering OCR, also known as Optical Character Recognition. Now, in order to do that, we're going to be using the Python library called Easy OCR. So this is gonna make it a whole heap easier to actually go through and perform optical character recognition on an image or on a document. Now, in order to get through this tutorial, there's four key things that we need to do. So first up, we need to install and import our dependencies. Then second, we need to read in our images or video. Third, we're going to draw our results. And for that, we're going to be using OpenCV. And then last but not least, we're going to take a look at how we can handle images that have multiple lines of text and how we can visualize that as well. So natively, Easy OCR is going to pull out all of the components of text, but when we want to map those onto our image, we might need to loop through and print those out. Alrighty, so let's get started. But first up, let's take a look at what our directory looks like. So within our directory, we've got our Jupyter Notebook. So in this case, it's called Easy OCR Tutorial or OCR Tutorial. And we've also got a couple of images. So in this case here, we've got an out of service sign. And the cool thing about this is that it's got some really small text down the bottom. So we'll see if Easy OCR can pick that up. And we've also got another image which just says surf. So we should be able to pick that up using Easy OCR pretty easily. All right, now the first thing that we need to do is install and import our dependencies. Now the first dependency that you're going to need is PyTorch. So Easy OCR runs on PyTorch. Now, depending on what type of operating system you're running and whether or not you're using a GPU, PyTorch installation is going to be slightly different. But the great thing about it is that if you go to pytorch.org, it will automatically select the most appropriate type of install method for you. So in this case, because I'm operating on my Mac, it's selected stable Mac, the type of package installation that we want to use. So I can either use Conda or Anaconda. I could also use pip. I can choose the language I want to install it for and whether or not I want to install using GPU support. So in this case, I'm running it on my Mac. We want to use pip and we're going to install it for Python. So our command that we need to run is just down here. So it's pip install torch, torch vision and torch audio. So we can copy this and paste it into our notebook. So we're just going to include a pip install command. And then the second thing that we need to install is easy OCR itself. Now, in order to install Easy OCR, it's pretty easy. Again, it's just another pip command. So this is the Easy OCR documentation inside of GitHub. But again, I'll include links to all of these links as well as links to the actual completed Jupyter Notebook inside of the description below. So be sure to check that out if you want a guided walkthrough. So again, to install Easy OCR, we just need to use this pip install command. So pip install Easy OCR. So we can copy that as well and paste that into our notebook. And then we're just gonna run that and install PyTorch and Easy OCR. Alrighty, so those have finished installing and in this case, I already had PyTorch and Easy OCR installed. If you're installing it for the first time, it might take a little bit longer. The next thing that we need to do is import our dependency. So let's go on ahead and do that and then we'll take a look at what we've imported. Okay, so we've imported four things. So first up, we've imported Easy OCR. This is gonna be the main library that we're using to perform optical character recognition. We've also imported OpenCV as CV2. So this is going to allow us to show our image, import our image and visualize. We've also imported matplotlib and specifically we've got pyplot. So in order to write that command, we've just written from matplotlib import pyplot as PLT. 
and then we've also imported NumPy, so import NumPy as MP. Now what we can go and do is actually perform a little bit of optical character recognition. So we're now, so step one's now done, so we can mark that off as done. Now the next thing that we need to do is read in our images and video. So the first image that we're going to work with is this surf image here. You can see it's pretty easy to work with. So we're just going to include a variable to hold that image path. Alrighty, so you can see there that we've gone and created a variable and our variable is called image underscore path and that is our path to our image. If you had images sitting inside of different folders, you'd include the entire path to that image. Now the next thing that we're going to go on ahead and do is actually use easy OCR to perform our optical character recognition. So let's go on ahead and do it. Alrighty, so that's our OCR done. So you can see that in these three lines of text, we've managed to go and extract the text that's actually within our image. And you can see it's done it with about 95.5% confidence and it's accurately extracted surf. So in terms of the code that we wrote, we first up defined a easy OCR reader and to this we pass the language that we wanna use. Now in this particular case, the Mac that I'm using doesn't have a GPU, so we've set GPU equal to false. And then what we've done is using our reader that we defined up here, we use the read text command and pass through our image path. And then what we did is we displayed our result. So our result is actually gonna come back with a few different things. So first up, this big array here is basically defining where the text is in our image and we'll be able to see this better when we visualize it. The second part is the text that's been identified and the last bit is the confidence. Now, this is great, but it'd be nice to actually visualize this on our image. So let's go on ahead and do that. So first up, what we're going to do is define a couple of key variables to determine where our different coordinates are. So in terms of plotting these coordinates using OpenCV, we just need the top left corner and the bottom right corner, which is going to be this value here and this value here. So we're gonna set up a couple of variables to hold those as well as our text. So let's do that first and then we can visualize. Also, this component here is also now done. Alrighty, so let's set up our coordinate variables. Okay, so we've now gone and defined our coordinate variables. So let's just make this a little bit easier to see. So first up, what we've done is we've defined where our top left variable is in here. So in this case, what we've gone and done is traverse our result. So we've grabbed our first result and our first uh, component within our first result, which is this whole array here. And then we've grabbed the first set of values, which is the 18 and 18. And then we've converted that to a tuple because when we pass it to OpenCV, it's expecting a tuple as an argument. Then we've gone and done a similar thing to grab our bottom right variable, which is this value here. And to that, we've again gone through and grabbed our first detection. We've then gone and grabbed our first value in our first detection and then we've gone and grabbed the second component from that array, so one, so also zero, one, and two, which is this value here. And then we've gone and grabbed our text, which is just this surf component here. We've also gone and defined the font that we're gonna be using. So in this case, we're using OpenCV and font Hershey Simplex. Now, the next thing that we need to do is actually go on ahead and visualize. So let's go and do this. And there you go. So we've now gone and visualized our optical characters that have been detected from our image. So let's quickly take a look at the code, but you can clearly see the results there. So it's gone and drawn a box around the text and it's also printed out the text there. So you can see it saying surf. So in order to do this, what we've first gone and done is we've used OpenCV to read our image. And in this case, we've passed our image path to that. That's been stored in a variable called IMG. And then what we've done is we've overlaid a number of additional visualizations. So we've first up overlaid our rectangle, which is this component here, and then we've overlaid our text. So to draw our rectangle, again, we've used OpenCV, and for that, we've used the rectangle method. We've passed our image, our top left coordinate, our bottom right coordinate, and then the color. So this is just that really bright green there, and we've also passed through our line thickness. 
Then the next thing that we've overlaid is that text. So you can see surf is appearing above our rectangle. And to that, we've passed image, we've passed the text that we wanna use, so in this case, the surf detection, which is up here. We've then passed through our top left coordinate. So this is just where we wanna position our text. We've passed through the font that we wanna use, how big our font needs to be, as well as its color. So in this case, it's 255, 255, 255, which is white in terms of an RGB color code. And then we've also passed through our font line width. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than usual there, as well as the line style. Then to visualize it, we've used matplotlib. So in this case, we've used plot.imshow to show our transformed image, because remember we've passed it, we've imported it from its raw format here. We've then gone and overlaid a rectangle, we've then gone and overlaid some text. And then we've used plot.show to pretty print it. And there you go. So that's optical character recognition in a nutshell. Now, what happens if we had an image that had multiple lines of text? So that sign that we were taking a look at here. So if we take a look at our outer service sign, you can see that there's a little bit more text here and we've got multiple lines. Plus we've also got this little bit of text down here. So in terms of how we'd actually handle this, it's pretty much the same. The only thing that really changes is how we go and visualize. Because when you see the results, you'll see that we have a number of different lines of results. So we need to loop through to visualize those. So let's go on ahead and bring this image in. So we're just gonna grab the name of the image. So in this case, it's outerservice.jpg. Then we can just replace our image path up here. So in this case, we're just replacing our surf image with our outer service image. And then what we can do is use the exact same reader code to go and process that image. Now in this case, it's gonna take a little bit longer to go and process because there's a lot more text that it needs to pass through as well as all this tiny little text down here. But we'll see if it actually detects that. So let's go on ahead and run that piece of code. So again, it's all the same. All we've had to do is just change our image path. Okay, so that's our detection done. Now again, as I was saying, you're going to get multiple different results here. So you can see that we've got a big array and then we've got all of the different components in that. But you can see that it's still gone and grabbed all of our text. So it's got out of service and then Australian safety signs, which if we go and take a look out of service, and then Australian safety signs. And then if we take a look at the rest, so it's got sticky stuff as well as the phone number and the website. So it's actually gone and pulled out all of that text. Now, if we wanted to take a look at a single result, we can type result.0 and you can see you're going to see the result there. So in this case, we can see out of, if we take a look at result one, you can see service and then result two, you can see Australian safety signs. And if we keep going along, we're going to get all of those different components. So we can see by there and then sticky stuff there. So you've got all of those different components, but you can see now that when it comes to visualizing this, there's multiple lines that we need to visualize. So in this case, when we visualize here, we're just visualizing one detection. Now what we need to do is actually loop through and then plot each one of those detections individually. So let's go on ahead and start doing that. So in this case, we can mark draw results as done. So we've gone and completed that. Now all we need to do is actually go and visualize these multiple lines. So let's go on ahead and write the code and then we'll take a look at what it's doing. And there you go. So we've now gone and visualized our image. So we've written a fair bit of code there, but you can see that we've gone and printed everything out. So you can tweak the look of this. So if we wanted to make the font a little bit bigger, we can adjust that, make that four. And you can see it's gonna be a little bit bigger now, but because we've got a lot of text in this bottom right hand corner, it's sort of overlapping, but you can play around with the formatting. But basically what we've gone and done is again, we've just read in our image similar to what we did up here. So cv2.imread. And then for each one of these detections that we had over here, we're basically looping through each one of those, establishing a tuple for the top left and the bottom right. And because some of the formatting came in and we had, rather than having an integer, we had a float, we've just gone and done a little bit of pre-processing on those there. But again, we're still using a tuple. Then we're going and extracting our text. We're setting up our font, similar to what we did above. And we're using the exact same rectangle and put text methods from CV2 to go and plot these on our image. 
And then last but not least, we've just made our image a little bit bigger so we can go and see that using plot.figure and we've set fig size. Then what we're doing is we're using plot.imshow to show that image and we're pretty printing it out. So you can see now that we've now gone and extracted all of that text out of our image and we can now begin working with it. So we've done quite a fair bit in this tutorial. So we started out by installing and importing our dependencies using PyTorch and EasyOCR. We then read in our images using the EasyOCR reader. We drew our results using CV2 or OpenCV. And then we took a look at how we can handle multiple detections as well. So in this case, we took a larger image and we were able to detect all of the text within that image. And that about wraps up this video. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell so you get notified of when I release future videos. And let me know in the comments below what you're going to be using OCR for. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.